and um, the one constant has been the political vacuum in the state over the la over the last six months with a number of political detainees including three former <laughs> chief ministers of the state however now the central government seems to be taking efforts or making efforts to sort of uh, restart the political activity in the state and at the helm of this entire effort are two former PDP leaders Altaf Bukhari and Muzaffar Hussain Beg. Uh, Shudhi uh, has been in touch with a lot of people uh, who are in the know of what exactly is going on. So Shudhi, what are you hearing from your sources? So well, I mean what we are going to see is perhaps a restart of the political process in Kashmir. But interestingly, uh, I must underline that it is going to be according to a script. And that script very clearly says that you can talk about everything else, but you cannot talk about bringing back 370. What does that mean? That means that the central government is slowly trying to give a direction to the political movement in Jammu and Kashmir, which will be centered around seeking or getting back statehood. We've all heard and uh, seen the Prime Minister and the Home Minister talking about how Jammu Kashmir can get back its statehood. Right. And also domicile rights, because already we are seeing after the initial euphoria, even in Jammu, uh, when 370 was taken off and the state divided into UTs, now people are talking about, you know, we need protection for our jobs, we need land rights, land rights back. Land rights back. Right. Uh, the two people, the two PDP leaders, former PDP leaders who have been at the helm of this thing, uh, Altaf, uh, uh, and, uh, Altaf Bukhari and uh, Mr. Big, both of them have been part of the, you know, they, they were part of the uh, uh, delegation that went to meet the European uh, uh, Union uh, MEPs that had that had visited Jammu and Kashmir last October. And also uh, the uh, European, uh, so not the European, the envoys, the global envoys that had come uh, the, the delegation of global envoys that had come to Jammu and Kashmir uh, in uh, uh, you know earlier this uh, month both of them have sort of uh, you know uh, been at the forefront of all these efforts to sort of convey to the global community about the situation in Jammu and Kashmir pre and post August 5th when when the when article 370 was revoked and uh, at least one of them uh, I know which is Alta Bukhari who has gone on record saying that uh, you know we need to move forward from article 370 do you think the two leaders have been chosen because they're more amenable to this sort of a thing and how has the government I mean, you know they, they the government has also been trying to reach out to the political uh, leaders in the state who are under detention but that didn't seem to have cut ties and so these two leaders have been sort of uh, taken hand out of handpicked sort of uh, to sort of start this process in the manner so, which is conducive to the central government's narrative so i would say that it's mr bukhari who seems to be clearly the choice of new delhi uh, <clears throat> mr beg is also there but what my sources are indicating both in jammu kashmir and here it's mr bukhari who's going to lead the charge and speaking to Hindustan Times, of which we have reported about also, he was very clear that I will not take down my people down the road of asking for 370 because that's not possible. It is left for the bigger leaders, indicating, uh, of course, uh, Mehbooba Mufti, uh, Farooq Abdullah and Omar Abdullah, the, the three chief ministers. But I'm going to only talk about restoration of statehood, land rights. Similarly, we you know, hear from Mr. Big that well uh, you know we cannot go into a confrontation and he was very clear there's no confrontation we're going to like politely right. request so what it in terms means is there are people who are willing to play according to what new delhi wants and one thing also must why is new delhi i mean it's not the first time the new delhi is playing around with kashmir politics or directing hmm. what is going to happen in the last 70 years, it has happened in number of times. We are seeing it happening again. Why are we seeing this? Why perhaps New Delhi has chosen this narrative? Is because they think that this kind of a narrative is very difficult for a Pakistan-based, uh, so to say, initiative to be to, 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 to hijack, hijack this, this sort of the, the narrative. Right. Because it's all about domicile rights and exactly. about mm -hmm. unemployment exactly. and livelihoods exactly. and yeah. land rights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, according to what we understand, it's going to be Mr. Bukhari who's going to lead the charge. But the question that remains is: it's, We have seen this happening in Jammu Kashmir in the past. Will it pass the muster? Yes, that because is to there, be is, there is a lot of mistrust in any case. Uh, you you want to take our viewers through the past instances where New Delhi's intervention has sort of uh, in the political formations or in the political uh, sort of rigmaroles uh, that have been going on in the state, so, and which is why there's deep mistrust. 
if you you know if we need not go back to say Sheikh Abdullah because that's quite far back. But even if you look at the 80s, uh, the the rigging that happened in the elections where Congress and uh, uh, Farooq Abdullah tied up is is you know largely or in some ways. Uh, experts, people who watch Kashmir very clearly say is responsible for the militancy out there. So you've constantly been meddling around and then, but now this is a different kind of an initiative that we are the seeing. The approach is different. Mm -hmm. Approach is, yeah, approach seems to be different in, in this case. And uh, the other interesting factor uh, which needs uh, is the, uh, t to be highlighted is that Yes, uh, day before yesterday in Jammu, the you know the so-called so civil society intellectuals came together, and Mr. Bukhari has been asked to lead a delegation to the Prime Minister, exactly for the same reasons: give us back our statehood, give us back our you know give us something around Article 371, uh, which Mr. Big also talks about, saying that you know entire Northeast has protection under Article 371, which is, you know, uh, protects land rights, jobs and, and stuff like that. We also want the same thing. I want to ask you one thing. There are these, these the, the political, I mean, of course, there is Altaf Bukhari, who's been a former finance minister in the uh, government. And of course, Mr. Beg is also a very senior, has been a senior minister in the PDP governments in the past. However, as far as the top brass of the of the, the political top brass of the state, all of them under detention presently. Um, the, how do you think they are going to respond to initiatives like this and efforts like this by the central government uh, and and this sort of uh, intervention political intervention in the state uh, to restart political uh, activity they aren't going to be uh, you know taking it lying down because it's their it's their turf well the idea is to make them irrelevant uh, idea is to make the old leadership completely irrelevant unless they play to the script and uh, there are very strong indications that say Mr. Bukhari has been chosen because uh, similar overtures to other leaders have not worked out. And uh, the government, we have seen the government earlier also, there was a time when uh, you know the government had made the Hurriyat irrelevant completely uh, to Jammu Kashmir politics. So the the leadership, the you know, the uh, say a PDP leadership or a, a NC leadership, more or less, uh, the government feels that we make them irrelevant, and that is exactly why this is important. You're bringing up a so to say, quote unquote, a new political face, a third front, so to say, some people are calling it in Jammu and Kashmir, and that is, you know, the contours of this are you know slowly coming out now. Do you see uh, a, a political now? When you say a new political formation in the state, of course, there is, uh, there are all chances that he might float a political party himself, uh, Mr. Bukhari. But do you see assembly elections in the near future in uh, Jammu and Kashmir, or is that still a distant dream? From what we understand, of course, we have not heard uh, from the government on the record on this. But from what we hear from uh, talking to various people, elections are definitely not around the corner. Elections are going to happen only after you've had uh, the de uh, delimitation happening, and you have, you know, rebalancing the number of seats between Jammu and Kashmir. There is a view within the government that that should happen only after uh, the census, because the delimitation is also directly linked to the num population that is there. So, elections not right now. Elections not right now, and uh, but but a restart in terms of political activity in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, that's what Shudhi Ranjan Sen is bringing to us right now. We'll keep coming back to you with more. Keep watching HindustanTimes.com.